This will be a historic moment as the return vehicle aboard the Chang'e 5 is about to land in a matter of hours. So everyone is getting prepared for this moment. It is about minus 30 degrees Celsius right now. It's freezing cold. I've got everything ready. My scarf, my beanie, my mittens, and also some warm shoes. The ground and aerial search teams are getting ready and all of the cars are gathering here and behind we can see all of the media cars are also lining up here and we are joining this search team pretty soon. So we have been driving for about half an hour and we are in the middle of nowhere. There is no phone signal at all. So the Sichuan banner landing site is a vast area. It's around 20,000 square kilometers. So you can imagine how difficult the task is to find such a small object in a very short period of time. And now no one is allowed to leave the team for security concerns. A few minutes ago, we learned that the return vehicle just landed and we have left the main road and we are approaching the precise landing spot of the returner. As you can see, the road is a little bit bumpy. Now, all the media cars have been stopped here and this place, as you can see now, is very much like an open space car park and the rescue and search team is working that way and I think they have already located the return vehicle. After hours of searching, finally we have arrived here and back into the return vehicle and you can see it's a little bit burnt and this officially makes China the third country in the world that is able to collect lunar samples after the United States and the former Soviet Union.